Good day everyone. In my follow-up on the last video that I put out, there is a news article in Times Live which says, Watch, Ketan is going Eskim free and will reward you for your help. And this comes from the Mayor Jordan E. Lewis, who is saying that at the moment you can run down your municipal account if you are grid tied to zero um, uh, currently, but the, that you can't uh, go further than that. But soon he will give people an incentive that if you actually put energy onto the grid, that you could go beyond that and they will actually EFT an amount to you to give you an incentive to go off grid. But at the end of the article, it tells you why this isn't viable at all. So let me get straight into it and show you how things have been twisted in the media. The city is introducing a sellback initiative for consumers with solar systems. Cape Town plans to make it more lucrative for residents to sell excess power back to the city by introducing a cash incentive. The new measures adds to an existing initiative that allows people to offset their municipal bill with excess power they generate. And as I explained in the last video, if you are grid tied, it means you still consume power from the Eskom grid or you supply power to the Eskom grid, which is a completely different story to actually being completely off the Eskom grid and not tied into it at all. At the moment, we give you credit for the power you sell to us, so we allow you to run your council bill down to zero. If that's how much you sell to us, but it cannot go further than zero, said Cape Town Mayor Jordan Hill Lewis. But there is a catch, you see. Uh, now he says we will now start paying people. We will, we will EFT you for the power you sell us, he added, which he's hoping will be a huge incentive for people in future. Hill Lewis said the incentive would be announced soon and the city would then ask residents to apply to be suppliers. And this is the crux. I hope this will be a game changer, Hugh Lewis said, but an industry expert throws cold water on this very quickly. The number of residents who have invested in solar systems has skyrocketed in recent years due to low cheering and spiraling electricity costs. Tiger Gelden, as founder of Trust Solar, described the demand for such systems as a frenzy. He said his business as it, uh, his turnover has tripled every year since 2009, hitting 50 million last year. Mullington resident Peter Walsh paid up to 200,000 rand for his system and now only needs to rely on Eskom on the odd occasion, but it means he is still grid tied. I was paying between 3,500 and 4,500 a month, depending on the season. Now I never spend more than 500 rand a month. But he invested that money and he got a loan to do it. Whilst uh, calculates, he will have recouped the cost of his investment in four and a half to five years based on his monthly savings. Some banks are now offering financial for solar systems, which is how Walsh was able to afford his. In other words, he's made a loan with a bank where he's going to repay that with interest. It's, it was a tough ask financially, but it was a good decision, he said. However, the benefits of the Cape Town Initiative are limited. And here is the crux, people. According to Geldenhuis, based on the numbers, it's not yet worth it. And most of his clients don't bother. This is to be grid tied, okay? We've done more than a thousand houses and I don't think even 1% are selling back electricity, he said. First residents are charged a, a service tariff of about 450 rand a month by the city and have to install a bi-directional meter, which costs between 10 to 15,000 rand. So it's expensive. And this meter can uh, let you consume electricity as well as send out electricity onto the grid. Additionally, over a year, residents must be net consumers, which means they must consume more power than they generate to sell back units. This is the catch. And the headline might sound wonderful, but you see, it's just skullduggery and foolery. It's all it is. If you look at what the city requires of a home installation to sell back to the city, it's not viable. The money they pay you and the monthly subscription and investment make it, makes it a non-starter, said Welsh. So there you have it. You have an article starting with all these promises from a politician, Jordan E. Lewis, who's the mayor of Cape Town. He's a career politician, by the way. And then you get the real truth uh, right at the end. 
And, you know, media often does this. If you don't read to the end or watch to the end of my video, you won't often understand what it's actually about. Thank you very much for watching this video. You'll find a link to this article in the description below this video as well as in the first comment. And if you like content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon so you can get notifications for future videos. Thank you very much for liking and sharing this video with as many people as possible. Thank you very much. Till the next video.